Praise our living God. Glory to God the Most High, the Most High, the Most High, for His name is holier than holy. Oh, hold on. Well, I was going to give you a message the Father has for you, but I'm also giving you another message that He just gave me. All of you are saying, OMG, oh my God, Jesus Christ, or and, and all the profanity, things like that. Um, if you are not speaking of Him, and if you are not spreading the gospel or praising him or worshiping him and you say that you're saying his name in vain I've I've talked about this before but God says you guys are just on a roll with it and um, you need to stop for his name is holier than holy a name above all names even writing OMG is in vain against God his name is so beyond holy, it's not even funny. Do not. Do not say his name in vain anymore. Now, the message that I come on here with, before God just pointed that out to you. Um, Y'all need to wake up, okay? A lot of you are snoozing and, and falling asleep and, and, and refusing to wake up. The government and Satan own Hollywood. All your cartoons, all your movies, all this stuff, okay? Everybody keeps saying, The Simpsons predicted this. This movie predicted that, okay? All of this is written because it's what's in the agenda. I posted, not too long ago, a post of the word agenda and all of its definitions. Don't just look up in the dictionary of what just agenda is. There's more meanings to the word agenda. And there's just the agenda. When you read what I had posted, all the words, all this is going to come together. Your cartoons of The Simpsons is not predicting. They're telling you. The movies of the zombies and the apocalypse and the rapture and all this stuff. Satan tells them what to write. The government tells them what to write. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. What you see, what you see in the movies, it's what's going to play out. That is for the agenda. The agenda is to keep you living in fear of what's going to happen next. Oh, this predict. They do not predict anything because they are not prophets. It is Satan. He's telling you, forewarning you, and keeping you in fear and freaking you out of what he's going to do to the world. But y'all, oh, they predicted this, they predicted that. They didn't predict nothing. Do you understand me? They didn't predict a thing. They're showing you what destruction they're going to bring upon you. And God's judgment, God's wrath, it's called the agenda. Are you awake now? See, nothing is pre-predicted at all. I mean, everything is written out. They are told what to write. They are given what to write. And you guys give all this credit. Oh, they predicted this. They predicted that. No. Not one thing was predicted. All this is written down. All this is told to keep... And, and to play on the on the TV in the theater systems to keep you living in fear. What's next? Oh, all this happened. I gotta go and paint my house blue. I gotta go wear blue. Oh, this happened. We gotta do this. This happened. We gotta do this. What God says to do is go make some masks, plant some fruit and vegetables inside your home, get right with Him, repent daily, walk in obedience, eat His word like it's your last meal every day, all day. Time is running out. And y'all worried about what you're going to paint your house. Like I said in the wee hours this morning, and I posted on TikTok, you can't run from God's wrath nor destruction. So if, if you're walking in disobedience, oh, it, it don't matter if you're wearing blue, baby. Satan will get you one way or another. You are under God's judgment and wrath. God does not kill you. But he will give Satan the okay. So, get this straight. Stay awake. As I tell you constantly to do, you might have slept through other battles and, and, and snoozed off here and there, but this is one. People all have always said, oh, I work 
Blood, sweat, and tears. No, this is the blood, sweat, and tears you're going to be go enduring. You understand me? This battle. This is nothing compared to what's coming. If you are not walking in obedience with God. You're still in conflict. What are you doing wrong? Are you with the wrong person? Satan got you by the britches or the good Lord got you by the britches? Are you failing at something? Are you not being healed? You're not getting prayers answered? I mean, what are you, what are you doing wrong? God is not going to keep just handing you stuff if you're not going to do right. If you're going to keep doing wrong, why should he bless you? Hmm? If you're with someone that you're not supposed to be with, how do you expect to uh, receive miracles and blessings? They're blocking it. I discuss this with you guys all the time. Wake up, buttercup. It's going to be one hell of a bumpy ride. One hell of a roller coaster. You think you've been through some stuff? Honey, what you see in the movies is what you're about to go through. All of us. But those who are closer to God will not suffer like that. So make a choice. Where do you want to go? If you brag you love God so much and you brag about his word, you brag about that, but you're sinning. You're saying his name in vain. You're saying cuss words. You're not fasting. You're not reading his word enough. You're reading in his, under, or your understanding, not his. I mean, come on now. And you wonder why crap's going to hell. You wonder why Satan's attacking you. The more Satan attacks you, means more God wants you. If Satan ain't attacking you, means God don't want you, but Satan sure does. You are not going to be so blessed by God that nothing, Satan's not going to touch you. Nothing's going to mess with you. You're full of it. Means Satan's in love with you and you're going to hell. The more you fight, the more troubles you go through, the more stress and, and tests and tribulations, everything you go through. Oh, yeah. Satan's going to test you if so is a good Lord. When you say, God, I trust you, <laughs> brace yourself, baby. When you ask God for patience, when you ask God to work on you, that's the most dangerous word you could ever speak. Because that is hard to endure. He's going to test you to the fullest. He's going to test that trust, that faith, that belief and hope in him. And you can do it. I'm not going to ask you, can you do it? You can do it. you got to want it really bad. So you want to go home to heaven or you want to go home to hell? Your choice. If you want to go to heaven, boy, you better work so hard you can't stand it. It makes you so mad against the enemy, you want to break his neck. Oh, that's me on a daily basis. So work really hard. Truly, use those words in absolute action. Because words, actions speak louder than words. So when you say, oh, blood, sweat, and tears, fight your way to heaven. You understand me? That's where the true blood, sweat, and tears come in. Glory to God the Most High. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day. Healings, miracles, and blessings unto you. Again, I'm Mother Hefsma with Rise Up Dry Bones, Evangelical Power Ministry International. Glory to God the Most High.